Well, tonight the Maryland General Assembly is closing out the final hours of a new ruling for dog owners in Maryland. That's right. Delegates have considered the many sweeping pieces of legislation, uh, among them a court ruling that labels certain types of dogs inherently dangerous. Our Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell live in Annapolis with the details on the developments. Brad? Yeah, well, the court was dealing with pit bulls, but this bill is going to affect every single dog owner in the state of Maryland. It's already passed the Senate. And the House is going to be dealing with it soon. When a court ruled pit bulls inherently dangerous last year, there was an outcry from owners like Tiffany Butcher. I think it's almost kind of a form of racism against dogs. Just because he's a pit bull doesn't mean that he's aggressive. But the ruling has teeth. Dog owners fearing lawsuits are dumping their pets. Landlords faced with liability are ordering tenants to get rid of their pit bulls. Shelters like Prince George's are filling up. Instantly, more turn-ins came. People started turning in pit bulls immediately. Hearing the hows, the legislature decided to act. And after 90 days of wrangling, a compromise is expected to pass before midnight tonight. It would make owners of all dog breeds liable if their dog bites, and more so if the victim is a child. Now, people like Darlene Christensen, who owns a Shih Tzu mix, thinks the legislature is going too far. I don't think that Shishans are known for biting. I think that a lot of pit bulls are known for biting. Pit bulls are nice dogs. It's all about how you bring them up. Patrick Smith says based on his experience with his pit bull Max, he likes the new dog bill. Sir, I think that's fair because all dogs bite. They all got teeth. Now, several members of the House of Delegates are telling us that they plan to fight this measure when it gets to the floor. They think that this so-called strict liability for all dog owners does go too far, and they say it has the potential to make insurance rates skyrocket or make people make a choice of getting rid of their dogs or not pay for their insurance. It is, however, expected that they're going to lose that battle and that this bill will pass. In Annapolis, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News.